and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu met with Vice President Harris in Washington, as you remember, last week. Now, after the meeting, Harris did include this in her comments about Israeli actions in Gaza. To everyone who has been calling for a ceasefire and to everyone who yearns for peace, I see you and I hear you. What has happened in Gaza over the past nine months is devastating. We cannot look away in the face of these tragedies. We cannot allow ourselves to become numb to the suffering, and I will not be silent. Okay, let's bring in former Secretary of State and CIA Director Mike Pompeo, a Fox News contributor. Um, Mike, good to see you. Always good to have you with us, um, former Secretary. Thank so you, Martha. Uh, tell me, you know, your reaction to this attack, what you think it means about what Iran is trying to potentially provoke here, and what you think about Vice President Harris's comments about Gaza. Well, first of all, uh, condolences to the uh, families who, who lost loved ones. What happened in the north in Golan, uh, the Israeli territory, not Israeli controlled territory, that's Israel that they fired into. Uh, second, uh, look, we've, we've been talking about this on your show for months. Uh, the real risk is from the north, uh, the far, far greater capabilities. Mm -hmm precision-guided munitions. They can fire into cities in Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, out of Lebanon, Hezbollah can. And so Israel's got to get uh, 80,000 people back into their homes in the north. And to see this tragedy only reminds us of the risk. Uh, this is all, Martha, this is all Iran. This is coordinated by the Iranians. It is approved by the Iranians. It is funded by the Iranians. And so no matter how much Israel strikes back at Hezbollah, it will matter. But it's not going to determine the outcome. The outcome will be determined by will the world stand up and demand that Iran be sanctioned, that we deny them the wealth that they need to continue their terror campaign. And then yeah. finally, you asked about uh, the vice president's comments. Uh, when I hear her say, we hear you, we listen, it fundamentally tells me that she doesn't understand the moral distinction between Hamas and the Israeli people. Uh, she says, we, you know, I will not be silent. Well, America and Israel would be an awful lot safer if she would be silent. Uh, if you can't say something that supports our Israel, Israeli ally and is really going to deliver peace and get the American hostages returned home, you should just be quiet. Because what you're doing there, when you speak, that is coded language. And um, she's speaking to uh, pro-Hamas members of her party, pro-Palestinian members of her party. And she is also implicitly messaging Hamas leadership, saying, hang in there, stay the course, continue to present risks, don't release the hostages, because America is trying to get a ceasefire, which will give you continued victory and allow Hamas to return to the places from which they've departed. Yeah. And, of course, that means continue to hold uh, civilians, women and children as human shields um, in this fight in, uh, on the Gaza side of the border. You know, uh, this is the headline of The New York Post. The Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Israel bashing has made all-out war versus Hezbollah more likely. And then this from The Wall Street Journal. Weakness won't deter Hezbollah after its soccer field attack. The better way to make war less likely is to announce that American munitions transfers to Israel will be expedited immediately, as they were earlier in the war and as Congress has approved, and that oil sanctions on Iran will be enforced again. Hezbollah and its controllers in Iran will get that message even without a translator, says the editorial board at The Wall Street Journal. Mike Pompeo. <laughs> Yeah, th those statements from the Post and the Journal are, are spot on. Frankly, it, it, when the Biden administration lost deterrence, it was a direct result, Martha, of violating those central principles, right? They rewarded Iran. They tried to get back in the nuclear deal. They essentially ceased enforcing all the sanctions that had put in place during the Trump administration. That emboldened the Iranians, and you see the result of that today, right? On October 7th, you saw it, and you saw it in the attacks in the Golan. These will only continue, the, the Houthi missiles in the Red Sea, these will only continue until such time as the United United States and Israel work together to punish Iran. That's that's the nexus. That's the, the center point. That is the, the head of the snake. And that's where the costs have to be imposed. Short of that, Martha, we're going to see continued escalation, continued risk, not only for Israel, but for Gulf Arab states and for the United States of America. And we've seen in policy in the past, both in the Trump administration and in the Bush administration, that isolating Iran is what um, improves this situation. In you know, building the the ally around the United States helps to isolate Iran. Um, but you know, as has been said um, by Senator Cotton and others, he can't understand why the administration is tougher on Israel than they are 
on Iran. And does this window of 99 days before the election provide a window that will be taken advantage of by Iran, in your opinion, Secretary Pompeo? It does, un undoubtedly. These next 99 days, the Iranians will push, they will test. Uh, they will find out how far the Biden administration and, and, and Vice President Harris's administration are going to allow the, uh, the American people and the Israeli people to be pushed around. Strength will work. We demonstrated that for four years. We were able to successfully deter much of Iranian terrorism. When you, when you show weakness, Martha, they're going to they're drive a truck through that hole. And you, we've seen it. And sadly, the Israeli people are experiencing that now. Okay, uh, Secretary Pompeo, thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.